debate from a fund's perspective where you start looking at assets or companies that you think uh, you know are investable uh, is there an exit angle to it that is the first parameter that you consider what are the parameters that a fund would consider and how big a role does exit play uh, in the whole equation um so i'm going to kind of give you a perspective of uh, so i've never been an entrepreneur myself but been very very closely associated with uh, uh, Ganesh and Meena, uh, you know, who kind of started off uh, Tito Vista and how that got uh, acquired by Pearson. So I'll give you that perspective. Uh, but specifically with Pearson, a portable learning fund, you know, you know, we're a very long horizon fund, seven years to ten years. Uh, and with the situation or education situation in India, post the Edicom era, so uh, you know, we really don't look at it as uh, the only. Or, uh, is it, that, that's one of the criteria, but uh, from where we are and what kind of invest, you know, invest, companies we invest in, this is extremely early stage, uh, idea driven company. So it's more the idea, it's more the entrepreneur. Um, so we believe that over a period of five to seven years, if you know, we can get the story right, uh, then we can always look at the, uh, the, the chocolate, the, the entity in India to kind of look at opportunities and you know, try and see what comes into their portfolio or not. So that's, that's really a very straightforward. Uh, investment mandate from a fund perspective, but if you look at uh, you know, uh, I just remember you know when uh, David was talking uh, when Ganesh uh, acquired Edurite. Uh, that was in 2004, uh, sorry 2007, uh, and uh, I think at that point in time he had raised about two million dollars from Sequoia. Uh, he didn't even have an India business plan at that point in time, right? So he just had a US business plan, and you know. Uh, and the idea was extremely novel. It was about tutoring kids uh, with tutors in India. Um, I think you know, uh, Sequoia in a very classic way just believed the entrepreneur. And I think over a period of time they figured that if you give him enough runway and time, I think a good author can figure out uh, the story himself. So if you look at his journey, I think from 2007 to 2010 is when he built the entire uh, scale. Uh, and from an India perspective, it was all about K-12. It was about getting into schools. Ensuring that's a very very strong tech overlay operationally and so on. Uh, but did you think of exit? Absolutely yes. Right. I think you know from a entrepreneur's perspective, it's very very clear that it has to be either the IPO route or the exit route. And uh, looking at uh, you know uh, uh, where things were in the education scenario at that point in time, I think Pearson obviously is a very very strong name which comes up uh, from an acquisition mandate. Right? And Pearson at that point in time is very very strong in organic uh, strategy as well. Uh, so from from that perspective, yes, it's a very well thought out, planned uh, approach. But it's a question of time. It's a question of value. Um, but if you flip to the other side, where you know we're investing in ideas, we're investing in entrepreneurs, I think it's it's more the idea. It's more the uh, uh, you know belief that uh, if if we believe in technology, believe in the kind of products and solutions entrepreneurs are getting to the table, I think we need to pack it up. And obviously, we can come to a certain stage and think about exit and. You know, how do we take that forward? So I think that's that's really the perspective from both ends.